all hail to the Christ within. This is your obedient servant, Reverend George Latimer Knight, coming to you with this week's Sunday School lesson. Uh, the date is November 29, 2020. International subject, impartial love, UHSC subject, love with no strings attached. Lesson text, James chapter 2, verses 1 through 13. I'm going to invite you to follow follow us online, on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel at Father Hurley. Also follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, all at Father Hurley, F-A-T-H-E-R-H-U-R-L-E-Y, all one word. We are uh, building our content to, to encourage you, to uplift you. And we'd love you to share in, to follow those pages, to share in with that and to share it with others that we can continue to get this spiritual gospel message out unto the masses. How to reach the masses, men of every verse. For an answer, Christ gave the key. And I, if I be lifted up, from the earth I'll draw all men unto me. Lift him up, lift him up, till he speaks from eternity. And I, if I be lifted up from the earth, I'll draw all men unto me. Oh, lift him up, lift him up. Still he speaks from eternity, eternity. Oh, and I, if I be lifted up from the earth, I'll draw all men unto me. Amen. Impartial love. Love with no strings attached. That is truly uh, the personification of divine love. The love of God that is impartial, no strings attached, no conditions. God just loves us, and that's it. Again, our lesson text, James chapter 2, verses 1 to 13. And I, I can hear uh, the hymn, uh, We Are Our Heavenly Father's Children, where it said, He loves us one and all. God loves us one and all. So here in this lesson, uh, we revisit the Apostle James, the wonderfully pragmatic writer. And he starts off uh, chapter 2 by admonishing us to not judge someone solely by appearances. Because that's a very dangerous thing to do. Because if we judge someone's appearance, say how they dress, it, it puts us in, in a... Um, in a false position because uh, someone with money can afford expensive clothes. And does that mean someone who can't afford them uh, is less? But then that kind of thinking leads people who really can't afford certain things to rack up their credit cards, spend all their money on things they really cannot afford that really are not important to impress people who don't give a damn anyway. <laughs> people do that all day, every day. I was watching a, a good brother uh, online uh, giving out some knowledge on on the live uh, broadcast. And he was saying how people get on uh, Instagram and making $20 an hour and then spend half their check on an the outfit and then go out to the club or somewhere else to spend the other half of their check going out all so they can take some pictures and pose for the camera so they can you know look good and, and make their poses and all this foolishness and they and they should be trying to get in another business they should be trying to build some other streams of income they should be doing something else other than you no know, trying to put themselves on display for display's sake Again, impartial love. We don't have to put on airs. and We don't have to put on the show for God. God sees us. God sees us on the inside. 
God knows who we are. And, and we don't have to put on a front for the almighty God. Amen. And we shouldn't put on a front for each other. Never feel like you got to put on a front for somebody. If you do this, just, just, just forget it. Just like we said uh, last week, the week before, just, just, just back away, take a break from them, take a break from that group or whatever, and, and just go on and live your life. And don't, don't buy into all this foolishness. Don't buy into it. Uh, I want to go to the general theme of uh, a quote from Richard Halverson. Wonderful quote. Quote, there's nothing you can do to make God love you more. There's nothing you can do to make God love you less. His love is unconditional, impartial, everlasting, infinite, perfect, end quote. You don't have to do anything more to get God to love you more. God can't love you more. And there's nothing you can do, no matter how bad or immoral it may be, to get God to love you less. God will never love you any more or less than he already does. God's love is infinite. God's love is to the max. It is infinite. He can love you, love you more. There's nothing you can do to make God love you more. There's nothing you can do to make God love you less. God's love is solid. Is there. And that's what we have to stand on. Amen. Stand on that kind of consistent, impartial, foundational, universal love. And if we stand on that, then that will lead us to, to this kind of a statement. We must favor the poor and our neighbor. James reminds us of Jesus' great commandment, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. As Jesus taught, all the law is summed up in divine love. If we learn to love each other, adultery, murder, lying, and the like will cease. Love is kind, compassionate, and merciful. The world would change in an instant if we start loving each other instead of honoring favoritism. Great God Almighty. The world would change instantaneously. No questions asked. The world would change instantly if we would love each other. I mean, at that level. They'd love each other with no strings attached. The world would change instantly instantly you can look at politics and you can see different policies uh different you know, parties put forth and different you know uh, uh groups and factions put forth and from the policies you can see what they're really all about this country is really now uh the the current president uh, uh dt he is showing people and he's exposing that the party on the right, the Republican Party, that has claimed itself to be you know, the, the Christian Party, the, the the party, the home of the, the of the white evangelicals. His presidency is shining a light and expose them for who they really are. They they claim to love Jesus. They claim to to stand on His word, but the policies don't match up to what they what they preach. How can I say, love thy neighbors thyself? How can I say, uh, serve, serve the least of these? How can I make these statements and then, oh, I don't care if you have health care. I don't care if you eat. I don't care if you have anywhere to live. I don't care if you get educated. I don't care if you can take care of your family. I do not care. I don't care what happens to you when you get old. I don't care if you can afford to go to a nursing home or you're just going to be laid out somewhere. I don't care. How can you say you don't care? but you claim to have the love of Christ in your heart. Not so. Not so. Not so. That's the kind of practical teaching that James gave. Amen. So again, impartial love. So if you really love somebody, you really love a thing, it's going to manifest, and we're all going to see. We're going to see what it's really all about. 
So we're going to stop there again. Follow us online. Uh, or subscribe to our channel on YouTube at Father Hurley. Like our Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter pages at Father Hurley. Visit us online at fatherhurley.com. I love you. Just keep in touch with the ministry. Keep following us. Share it with someone else who you think will get something out of these messages. And that's all I got for you this week. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. I love you all. Peace till we meet again.